Hi there, Joey from PowerhouseAffiliate.com. Today I'm going to talk about the dark truth of one of the most common cryptocurrency scams we see online, how it relates to affiliate marketing, all of the players and all of the companies involved in this elaborate scam. This is most likely going to surprise a lot of people how this works. And by the end of this video, you should know as an affiliate marketer or as an influencer how to properly promote cryptocurrency to make money as an affiliate rather than contributing to these elaborate scams online. It is no secret that you can make a lot of money with cryptocurrency. We have seen it all around the media. We have seen it everywhere. People are buying Bitcoin, they're holding on to it, and eventually it's supposed to make a lot of money. This is the general belief of the public. They, a lot of people don't even understand cryptocurrency, which makes them a ripe target to being scammed when it comes to cryptocurrency and trying to earn money from this industry. So in this video, I'm going to describe some of the, well, one of the most common scams that is happening currently. Uh, it is in the media now, and I'm going to show you that, in fact, there are a lot of players involved in making this scam available to the public. Now, whether some of these players are doing it intentionally or not, they are still involved. I'm going to show you a diagram here shortly, and I'm going to show you precisely what is happening. So for those of you that are very visual, let me start by showing a diagram on how this is going to go and how the video is going to describe each part of this quickly so you understand how it all works and how everyone is kind of involved in this. So it all starts with the end victim. That is where the money is actually coming from. Their bank is sending the trading software company's bank. I'm gonna show you actual examples of this happening today. Okay, so the end victim over here on the right sends their money to a trading software company's bank. I will describe that in a second. The trading co company software needs more clients, so they hire out what are called CPA affiliate networks, who in turn have a bunch of affiliate marketers and influencers who will promote this trading software company. What happens next is these affiliate marketers and influencers generally will go out and buy advertisements online through advertising platforms like Facebook, TikTok, Rev Content, MGID, Outbrain, Taboola, all of these places, and these ads are shown on major news networks. So the same news networks that we're seeing here reporting the scams, in fact, are also at the bottom of their posts, potentially promoting the scam itself. That is the circle of lies we are going to talk about today. And now we're going to describe each piece of this and how it relates and how the scam is actually being portrayed or how it sometimes works. Okay, now just as a disclaimer, let me be clear here. All of the players in this diagram, I am not saying are scamming you. I am just saying this is how it works and some of these players are unintentionally involved in this scam. So you as an affiliate marketer, this is why I did this video. You need to make sure you are not part of this type of elaborate scheme because you at the end of the day as an affiliate may not get paid. You may be part of an overarching lawsuit if you are doing what I'm about to show you people are doing online. We almost have to work backwards in order to explain each part of this elaborate scheme. And we'll start with the victim who is usually on a major news network, reading the news, wondering what's happening. Let's see what we see. First of all, here are some articles, just examples of a crypto scam and crypto schemes happening. It's, it's a big thing right now in the media. Lots of people getting scammed. So let's just say I am browsing the news as I would normally every other day. I'm on my mobile device or I'm on my desktop computer. I'm reading an article and then all of a sudden at the bottom, I start to see these pictures. Usually these are linked to ads. As you can see here, here's an example on globalnews.ca. The same company who is reporting cryptocurrency frauds could potentially have an advertisement down here about a particular fraud that people would actually get scammed from. Let me show you how I know that. So when you go into these platforms, these are called native ads. You can actually spy and see a bunch of ads that are running. And the tool to do that is called Adplexity. 
This is a tool used by marketers to do competitive intelligence. You can see here, you can come in and you can choose native ads, push ads, e-commerce, a whole bunch of different types of ads. For more information on this, check the link down in the description and you can actually see everything about this. I'm gonna go in here now and I'm gonna show you a particular example. So I'll click on native ads now and let's go in and see what we see. So what I've done is I've put the word Bitcoin in the search results. I've come over here to the filters and in here I can filter out all the ads showing to whatever country I want. I chose Canada. You can also choose specific ad networks. There's a bunch more if I select choose more. There's tracking tools and you can see much more detail about who's actually running these offers. So here we are, these are the affiliates who are running this type of offer. And here's an example here, Bitcoin scares Canadian banks. Now this typical ad could be running on any of the major news networks that I had talked about. Now we're getting into the ad platforms in our loop of lies where the ad platforms are letting these ads be shown on their ad platforms. Now, whether they're doing it intentionally or not, it's, I mean, it's, it's happening. Okay. They do have rules in place, the ad platforms, but unfortunately there are affiliates out there who can get by these rules. And now let's look at this ad and have a look at the landing page, which scares me even more to think that people are doing this and bringing down our industry like this. So when you click on this, you can see the actual landing page that the person is using. Now this is absolutely illegal in itself. This person is breaking the law in just by using the Prime Minister of Canada and false advertising this new opportunity to make money with cryptocurrency. This is where the affiliate is running the offer and trying to get people to sign up to the broker or the the software program I told you about earlier in the in the diagram. It is called Immediate Edge. This is just an example. There are hundreds of other companies similar to Immediate Edge that you can sign up to. They call themselves trading platforms or brokers or trading software. It's all the same thing. The bottom line is most of the time you sign up, you're going to get a phone call within 15 minutes asking you to deposit a minimum of $250, sometimes up to $500. Now, why would an affiliate want to do something like this? Why would they break the law and why would they want to run something so sketchy where it's a complete lie about Justin Trudeau and his his desire to make money with crypto. Why would he, why would an affiliate do that? Well, the bottom line is they get paid a lot of money to do this by the CPA affiliate networks or by the trading platforms themselves. Usually these affiliates are running through a CPA network. Now, before we get to the network, let me just show you the offer. When I click on this offer, my security software automatically blocks it. But many times people will likely get to the landing page of this offer. And there are many different examples of this. Let me just show you what the offer looks like. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't open that website because my security software just wouldn't let me. But here's another example, Bitcoin Revolution. I'm not saying this is a scam. This could be a very legit company. What I'm saying is this is what you're going to see when you sign up to these cryptocurrency software platforms. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your first name, last name, email, and telephone number, and you're going to register. And that is what's going to happen. And then you're immediately going to get a phone call. So generally what happens after you get that phone call, you are asked to deposit somewhere between 200 to $400 as an initial deposit. And these people on the phone, which is a basically a call center that is designed to call every time a number comes in, they call you with a script and they ask you to deposit a small amount of money into their software because they have this really good program that can make you lots of money by automatically trading the ups and downs and the volatility of cryptocurrency, in particular Bitcoin, Ethereum, and stuff like that. So people are immediately thinking, hey, Justin Trudeau likes it. Uh, I saw it on the news, I saw it on CNN or wherever it was, and this must be legit. I'm gonna sign up, I'm gonna send 250 bucks. What happens is this software starts to show you gains perhaps, or you know, you, you're, you're getting, you're starting to see things happen and it's like, whoa, this is great. Then you get another phone call and they call you asking you for more money saying, look how much money you've made. You should actually send us $5,000 now because this is really 
working and people think, hey, this is great. I got to do this. And then eventually you can be like this guy who lost $81,000 in the scam. So basically what may happen here is the software company may say, hey, you know, you lost all your bets. I'm sorry. Uh, the auto trading software kind of went wacky and you kind of lost, man, but you signed up and you signed our terms of service. So unfortunately, it's, it's, you lost all your money. Um, and that's basically the scam here. So why would the ad networks here and why would affiliates want to run these types of offers? Why would you want to do that to people? Well, here's the bottom line. When you come to a place like Offer Vault and you this is a, a database for uh, finding affiliate offers that affiliates and influencers, like even Kim Kardashian, people like that who are, are pitching these coins and these softwares, you can see them online actually pitching these programs when they don't even really understand how they work sometimes, but they're getting paid ridiculous amounts of money. Look at this, I could get paid today as an affiliate marketer, 1,250 US dollars just to get somebody to sign up to the offer, okay? The one that I showed you there as an earlier example, that affiliate could be getting paid up to $1,200. And in order to get paid, all you have to do is get someone, the poor victim that I showed you in our picture here, you just gotta get this person to deposit $250 into the cryptocurrency software program and you get paid $1,200. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. Joey, the math just doesn't work here. Why would the company pay me pay why would the company pay you 1250 bucks if they're only getting 250 from the poor victim? Well, that's because they are making a ton of money off this person and just over the mathematical equation of how many leads they get, how many people they get, they know that on average they're making more than $1250 per victim that comes into this scammy software program. That is why this is a big scheme. A lot of people involved here. So now, why are networks involved? And why do you need to be very careful as an affiliate marketer if you're going to get into the crypto space? Well, or even any space for that matter. Let's think about this for a second. You're on an affiliate network that runs all of these offers. All of these are the networks. Algo Affiliates, you have Yammy Leads, Profit Pixels. If you're on one of these networks and they get involved into promoting one of these softwares that turns out to be a major player in the scams and the scam market, then let's say the FBI or one of these big agencies, one of the global law enforcement agencies takes down this crypto you know, entity. They're not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be very hard for them to follow back the, the trail of money through this path of lies and get everyone else involved. Usually when they come down and crack down, everybody involved is going to be taken, okay? And you, if you are an affiliate and you are one of these CPA networks that is allowing this stuff to happen, um, you could be part of not getting paid. You may not get arrested, but you might not get paid by the CPA affiliate network because all of their funds are frozen. The CPA affiliate network also risks not getting paid by the trading software platform because their bank got frozen. All of this stuff could happen potentially as, uh, you know, as we continue looking at how this all works. So that is how the scam works. Not saying all of these, like I said, are scams. You can actually do it legit. You can actually find companies that are legit that aren't trading bots or whatever it is that you wanna call it. And you can actually get real information out to people to show them the real way of making money. So if you have anyone in your family that is interested in crypto and all of that stuff, make sure you share this video, like it, comment, all that stuff, because I'm gonna get into now how to promote real legit offers um, that aren't going to potentially get you scammed. Now, before I end this segment of this video, I just wanted to show something I searched online here about Immediate Edge, which was the example I showed you with the Trudeau advertisement. Um, if you read this article, it goes into more in-depth ways these people are scamming. Maybe you might want to read this. Uh, ScamCryptoRobots.com did an article about how the scam works more in depth. And you can see here that even when they get the leads through their form, 
they are automatically calling these people and getting them to sign up to another lead platform and taking away the affiliates commissions right away so that they can get them themselves on another platform. It's a really deep, dark web of lies here. And uh, it's very, it's something you really, really have to do your due diligence on if you want to get into this. So moving on, how do affiliates really make money with cryptocurrency? Let's have a look at YouTube. You, these YouTubers here are all, um, not all of them, but some of them here are very big YouTubers like Coin Bureau. Um, you, you can see a bunch of them on here that describe and talk about crypto and how it works and explain to everyday common people how crypto works from beginner to absolute expert stuff about how you can make money with crypto generally you can speaking if you look on youtube and you see somebody with a million subscribers um, nowadays that is legit it's, it's a lot harder to fake the amount of subscribers you have so if you have a large influence and you're talking about real legit stuff and you know this person knows their stuff these people are making money by referring companies that are really under a lot of regulation, like Coinbase, for example. Coinbase is a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ that has an affiliate program. This type of promotion is promoting to people the ability to trade coins themselves or purchase coins themselves. They're not giving their money to some company on the other side of the world and hoping that the software generates a whole bunch of money and then at the end of the day they're rich. That is ridiculous. If that's what you're into, then you're probably going to get scammed. If you really want to make money with crypto or if you're pitching to people that really want to make money in crypto, you need to explain to them the right way to do it. And when you explain it the right way, you refer people to places like Coinbase or other legit trading platforms that are regulated and it's a lot less likely they're going to get scammed. Coinbase.com slash affiliates. You can see here you can become an affiliate on Coinbase and you can get paid every time you get someone to sign up. And there's a bunch of different ways you can get paid. These people on YouTube are doing that. If you watch some of these videos about crypto, they're, they're generating content and then they're referring people to Coinbase or other places. Another way you can make money is by going to a crypto blog or, or building a crypto blog. Here's an example of a blog about crypto. All of the stuff they talk about here is crypto related. Look, they're talking about Coinbase, GameStop, all of this stuff, how to make money. This is a major blog, but I'm just saying if you created a blog around crypto and then started linking to specific products that people can actually use to make money with crypto, that is the right way to do it. By being part of the elaborate scam, all it's doing is hurting the entire industry around crypto. It's making it harder for us to get our ads approved on major networks like Google, Facebook, TikTok. This is why those ad platforms have decided for the most part to completely block any types of those ads. Now, like I said, there are many places you can still advertise crypto and there's not a lot of rules around it. And you're going to see those ads as you continue reading news networks. But hopefully as people and more people see videos like this and understand that there is a scam involved, hopefully we can get marketers and influencers to change the way they're promoting these offers. Now, obviously this is a very small amount of people doing this scam, um, the CTV scam here. There's a small amount of people doing it, but it's still happening. And that's the one that is really um, hurting our industry. Anyway, if you have any comments, if you, if you think this is uh, all a bunch of garbage, or if you think it's actually true, please comment, like it, share it with people that you think might have the potential of getting scammed because they'll understand how the scam actually works and why there's a whole bunch of different things involved. And that is it for today. Thanks for watching.